How's it going everybody? Sun's actually out right now. You know what we say, when the sun's out, buns out. Sun's out, bu <clears throat> sun's out, buns out. That's um, Carl says. Yeah, I made that up. Don't give Uncle Carl all the credit. I but know, but you made it up. We are uh, working on more equipment here today. I'm gonna be pulling, uh, doing some oil changes in the 4055 and the 45. Um, greasing up the 45 so that's all ready to go. We're gonna fire this up and pull it out right now. We're gonna be putting the uh, lift arms on the 4055 because that's going on the moldboard plow. We use the 4055 to run on the moldboard plow all the time. So uh, we're standing here by the 44. That's fine right there, bud. Just like that's fine. Uh, standing here by the 44, you can see we take the lift arms off our tractors because um, other than our moldboard plow, there's really nothing, uh, really nothing we have that takes a three point hitch. So, um, yeah we just take them off they just sit there and clang and bang around um i know you can get like a bar that goes in between there but then if it settles it could uh, it could put a lot of weight and pressure on your pto uh, until you fire up the tractor especially with the older tractors and i've seen times where guys take a real sharp turn and that arm goes right into your pto shaft so anyway, we, we just take them off i mean you can tie them together with baler twine but i don't know or I could just take them off. Have them on a pallet over there. Uh, the 3010 has them on because we used to have a um, used to have a wood splitter, three point hitch wood splitter that we'd put on this, and uh, yeah, so never took them off and it's so old they're staying on. So anyway, I'm gonna move some tractors around, bring the 45 inside, and uh, do some work to that. So standing inside the shop here, um, got the 4055 right here. It's still a mess from when we had it on the manure spreader. But so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna throw the lift arms on here because uh, we're gonna do a little moldboard plowing along with the chisel plow. We got some sod, sod ground we're gonna turn over. So we got that draining out of the oil pan, got that draining out of the oil filter. Once that gets out, let that drain now. Gonna let that drain out and uh, get the new oil ready, get the new oil filter, which is right over here, which is right over there. New oil filter right here. Set that right there for right now, drop that all over so now the oil can go everywhere. Awesome. So for our diesel tractors, we use the John Deere plus 50, the 15W40. And we use the uh, John Deere High Guard for transmission hydraulic. Uh, these are starting, uh, 
Yeah, that's getting low. That's getting there. Uh, my dad just went up the other day and spent a small fortune and got uh, another container of each, so. All right, so we're right at the top of the full now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop in the tractor, turn it on. Hop in the tractor, turn it on, and let everything kind of work its way through. And then check it again. That should bring the level down a little bit and we can top her off. Looks pretty good right there. So, fire this up, take it around the other side, and we'll uh, put the weights on. Like I said, this is the tractor we use when we run the south and mold board plow. And I'm not putting the plow on today. I'm parking the tractor uh, out front by the barn. Like I said, this was on the uh, this was on the manure spreader uh, before we had the 4250. So uh, it's a little dirty and uh, it's my dad's baby. So it needs a bath before. So he's going to hit it with the pressure washer, clean it up. Uh, once he does that, I'll go through and grease it and then we'll uh, hook it onto the mold board plow but for right now i'm going to put these eight weights onto the front Nice and tight. Hey, watermelon. Oh God, here comes the jealous one. Raven, Raven, Raven. Oh, jealous. Hey, baby. Hey. Hello, hello. Oh, you just want to gobble us up, huh? We got to move tractors, so. All right. See you guys later. Yeah. You show. You took watermelon to the fair last year, right? Yeah. Yeah. I had to do most of the paperwork. You did most of the paperwork. Yeah, you made you named her.
That's where you're going. You're going to go brush faith. All right. Good boy. Yeah. So I am going to get this inside now. I am going to go start uh, draining the oil in this. Uh, like I said, we'll grease everything up. And I did get a new muffler for this. So uh, the chrome pipe is coming off. I know a lot of people say, why are you taking the chrome pipe off? Um, using this last year we had the chrome pipe just sitting against the um my toolbox over there and um i forgot what i was doing but the muffler was just on its last legs and i said you know it's time time for a change and uh we just never got around to getting one so we had the chrome pipe sitting there so we threw it on um my cousin steven said could you leave that on until the end of uh until the end of harvest season so he could get some nice cool pictures for uh, for instagram and for his good buddies back at cobal skill uh, running uh, running the 45 with the chrome pipe, but uh, ready to start a new season and you know what Even though you can wear ear protection. I really don't want to be you know I'm, I'm I'm getting older and I really don't want to be that old guy that sits there and can't hear a darn thing So we're gonna we're gonna pull that chrome pipe off and uh, we're gonna save it for a special occasion I guess something like that Anyway, but first off I'm gonna get a bucket and get ready to start draining this oil Actually, which is on this side? I'm standing on the wrong side. Get a bucket, start draining the oil, and uh, start draining the oil out of the oil filter. have asked about the 4250 there it goes all right that's full there so. give away the chrome pipe. Probably put it on a different tractor so we're playing musical exhaust. There's a the new muffler, but I don't really like how that's shorter. Um, that top piece is shorter. I don't really want it underneath my air cleaner because I don't really want to be sucking in. I don't really want to be sucking in exhaust. So. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to park it for now. Uh, I may just get an extension piece or something. I'll take the rain cap off and get an extension piece to bring it up just above the air cleaner. Uh, that'll probably be better. I'm going to put my tools away, pull this out, and uh, bring the 3010 in. I knew what it sounds now. So I got some old Napa batteries in this tractor. And I was going to bring it inside, but I got to throw the battery charger on it. Right? So for right now, I'm just going to take this muffler off from right here and put the new one on right here.
we go. Just a hair too big. I don't even think I can get the clamp tightened down on that. Just kidding. So I got the new pipe put on there. Oh, uh, we usually run an extension on that, so I'm not messing with that tonight. I'm just gonna put the rain cap on. Put it inside for tonight. Call it good. Yeah, if I can't get the old extension off, I'll just grab another extension. So let me do this together. Ooh. I got the old tractor inside now. Uh, like I was saying, we'll go up and get uh, get some different uh, cables for that. They need to be replaced. But uh, anyway, good to get that inside now, so we can take that plate off and get those get those cables switched out. So that's that's firing up a little better. But uh, anyway, um, hopefully to be done. That was uh, oil change in the 45. Oil change in the 4055. Uh, weights on, uh, getting, getting things ready and getting closer and closer to get out in the field. But anyway, it is freezing cold today, so I'm going to go up and have a cup of coffee. So thumbs up if you like this video. Drop me a question or comment below. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you have, thumbs up to you. I totally appreciate it. Check out the links in the about section for uh, links for Mike P7810 merch and P.O. Box. And I will see you guys next time. Have a good one, everybody.